thing I was asked to do was um, a better video of our tent setup um, because you didn't get to see it very well from up and I'm apologising because the sun is shining right in my eyes um, so basically we have a Van Gogh Icarus 500 um, with the extension which is also in the picture here um, this was from Go Outdoors it's actually classed as the deluxe but so by having the extension we can put all the kitcheny bits in this bit here um, so we've got a new table and chairs which is actually a bench we got from Costco which is the table we've got chairs in here and then into the main tent which is here we've got the carpet that came with it as well <laughs> um, you've got like a, a mesh door on this side which you can use um, windows there's, it's also got the tension band system which is ex supposed to be exclusive to Van Gogh um, but we've not really used it because the weather's never been bad enough um, all our clothes in the suitcase and then the bedroom which you can split into two bedrooms if you should wish um, but we generally keep it open as one for the three of us when Rebecca's older and we'll probably split it back into into two but yeah that's basically our tent set up for these next five days while we're here at uh, Creeley's um, I'll show you a different setup when we go Oakwood because we're planning a different one um, but yeah that's basically it just thought I'd show you these mats before we put them away um, I got these off eBay, they're picnic, picnic insulating mats, I will try and find the link and put it in the description below for you, they're not very thick, um, they're foiled basically on both sides, um, but they've made a big difference to us this week uh, camping, because normally I'm freezing and I've slept like a log all week, which is a, a miracle, um, but yeah I'll try and put the link in the description below for you, um, so I highly recommend lining the floor with something decent and I've got to pack everything else away apologies if there's any wind noise in this because the wind has got up a little bit I just thought I'd show you our tent again without anything in it um, as it's bought from the store if you like we bought this from Go Outdoors it's the Van Gogh Icarus 500 Deluxe it came with the footprint the Icarus 500 tent the awning and it came with the carpet so this is basically what you get. So the awning obviously is at the front, which has got the ground sheet which came with it. Obviously we bought this mainly because we thought if the weather's bad and Rebecca's asleep it gives us somewhere to uh, sit and talk without disturbing her too much. But you've got the two large windows on both sides of this one. Then you come to the main Icarus tent. Um, we've just got the two panels down the side for the windows um, and the carpet which is on the floor in here you also have a mesh on the inside of the door um, so you can actually roll the door up and have just the mesh and the same for the side door you can actually unzip the main bit and tuck it down there and you can just leave the mesh open like that as I was saying before the battery actually died on me you've got the mesh door um, which you can obviously you can unzip this and tuck the main bit behind the curtain and just leave it open to mesh same for the front door you've got lots of window panels on uh, both sides you've got a big window on here as well um, again you just unzip them tuck them into the pocket below the bedrooms there's, you can actually split this into two we generally have it as one because Rebecca's a bit too young at the moment um, so it comes with like a little divider which you hook up top and you can have it as two. It sleeps five, this one. Um, so we've got plenty of room as a three. There's side pockets, so if you've got mobile phones and things you can slot them into those. You've got the mesh inners, so if um, you want to leave them open you can. So during the day we just leave them like that. Um, because it's easier. Uh, carpet comes with it um, and the pockets organizer 
runs down the middle then. Right, really. You've got the great air vents there for airflow. Yeah, there's air vents as well, but... So you've got air comes through this vent, then can come up through this area yeah. into the circuit around the There's tent, a vent at the back as well. The back as well. So you don't, um, when you wake up in the morning, the tent's not full of condensation. Um, I think the other thing you maybe didn't mention was a tension band. It's got a tension band system, but I've taken it down. It's only for if it's got really high winds. So you, you, you um, a strap. It's designed to help support the tent. Now, what one end of this is attached to the main support pole. You click that into there and then you adjust it tight. And it basically almost makes the tent hunker down in the wind so it, it won't blow around as much. It, it, it makes it much more stable. Um, it's Bango apparently is the only one that has the tension band system in, built into them. Uh, we've never had to use it that, bad, that, that much so far. We've got a little friend, look. I have to get him out before we go because he's actually on the inside. As he will be next up camp. <laughs> He'll be coming home with us. Taking a Devonshire spider. Right. Yeah, so apart from that, as I said, these ones also close up in here as well. Um, we generally just have them half down and leave them down for the entire trip because it's easier for us. Um, and then you've got the big zip door. If we come back outside again. If you have any questions or queries or you want some more information just drop us a comment down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, if you have any other queries or you want to know something else or see something else about the tent, drop us a comment and next time we get the tent out which will be in August um, we'll see if we can answer your query for you.